and Simone shouldn't be in there. Sweetheart, they're only concerned about the old man, that's all. Well, they could ask me. I don't want them anywhere near Chad. I want them to come out of there now. All right. Hey, Grace took Charity and the kids home. It's good. Eve, are you sure it's okay for Charity to go home? Well, I wouldn't have released her, Sam, if I didn't think she was all right. I know. You're the doctor, and I trust you, but she may be my niece, but I love her like she's one of my own daughters. I mean, and to see her tied at the stake with all the smoke and the flames around her, it was just... Thank God you were able to save her. Sam, did you ever find out what caused the fire? No, but I think it was started underneath the stage. What? Some kind of loose wiring or something? I don't know, but I'm damn sure going to find out. I mean, Charity was reluctant to take part in a school pageant after being involved in that fire that killed her mother. I mean, but we assured her that the fire was not going to be real, and, for, you know, for this to happen to Sam, you can't blame yourself, man, okay? Besides, something good did come out of it. Charity seems to have gotten her memory back. Yeah. Listen, um, did that hit and run victim, did he wake up yet? Yeah, why? Well, I want to ask him a few questions, see if he remembers anything about the accident. See, why would I die, Wovel? I mean, who would want to kill me just for looking into my past? That's what I'd like to know. Oh, man, the chief of police. What's going on here, Chad? Look, this ain't no business of the police, okay? Oh, yes, it is. I'm investigating this hit-and-run accident this man was involved in. Now, what's this about Chad dying? Who's Chad? This man right here. Chad Harris, you said if he kept searching into his past that he would die. Now, why would you say that? What about his past? That's what I'm trying to find out, over about my family. You said you knew me here in Harmony as a baby, remember? Do I know you? Oh, come on, don't start zoning out on me again. Come on, it's me, Chad, Chad Harris, okay? Come on, man, stay with me. Where am I? Who are all these people? All right. Come on, that's enough. The patient needs some rest. I'm so tired. You know, this old guy seems to be very strange. How do you guys know him? I met him at the book cafe. And, um, Swan and I were with him when we met him. You were with Chad when Orville got hit. And you were with him when he met Orville at the book cafe. Yep. I didn't know you were spending so much time with him. And here comes a lecture about hanging out with Big Bad Chad. Orville said he had a secret about Chad and his family. We were just trying to help him find out what it is. Well, this guy seems a little scattered. Yeah, he rambles sometimes, yeah. Yeah. But do you think he's legit, Chad? No, I didn't think so at first. Just thought he was a crazy old man. But then he has some pretty convincing information about me and about my past. Like what? Like he knew I'd been living in L.A. And he also knew about my birthmark. The birthmark? Where? On his left butt cheek. What? How do you know that? Simone? I, I saw it. But I just looked really quick because Orville couldn't find his magnifying glass. You know what? I think you better quit while you're here. I need to ask you kids about the accident. I know what happened. You do? Yes, I do. Someone doesn't want Orville to tell Chad about his past. Here she goes with the X-Files conspiracy theory again. It makes sense. Orville was just about to tell Chad something about his past at the book cafe, but he stopped, got nervous, and then he went outside to make a phone call. A phone call to who? Well, he wouldn't say, see. But we went out looking for him, he was gone. All that was left was his hat. But that led us to his apartment. And I waited for him there all night. He didn't show up till this morning. And that's when he told us about the birthmark. See, I think he was on the verge of telling me something real big about my past. That's when he ran off and got hit. And just now, Orville said, if Chad kept looking to his past, he'd die. I mean, isn't it obvious? Someone doesn't want Chad to know about his past. Yeah, but who and why? You know, our daughter has a very vivid imagination. Yes, she does. But what I said makes sense, considering everything that's happened. Someone doesn't want Orville telling Chad what he knows about his past. Well, do you know anyone else who knows Orville? 
No, we just met him. What about you, Chad? Well, um... Well what? He seemed to know Dr. Russell. You know him, Eve? You remember me, don't you, Eve? You need to rest. I thought you said you didn't know him, Dr. Russell. What? When I asked you before, you said you'd never seen him. I don't know him. He just called you Eve. Well, he must have heard someone call my name. I don't know why he's saying these things. He's delirious. Probably a result of the accident. Are you sure you've never seen him before? I told you no. Sweetheart, he did act like he knew you before. <laughs> I never met him before tonight. The poor man's confused. Huh. Okay. Look, I need to see you three over here. I need to talk to you about the accident, all right? Get each other in Sweetheart, I know why you're upset. Secrets. Not secrets, Eve. That's why you're upset. I don't know what you mean. Sweetheart, I know that you're upset that our daughters have been spending time with Chad. <sighs> oh, I told Whitney and Simone I didn't want them to be around him. He's, he's a street tough. He's arrogant and rude. Babe, he's not a bad guy. He's a little rough around the edges, and he's doing an excellent job for me at the school. Well, T.C., if you want him to work for you, that's your business. But I don't want him anywhere near our daughter. Sweetheart, they're only trying to help. Help him find out about his past, about his family. I don't care. I don't want him near them. I thought he was trouble, but now I'm convinced of it. Why, honey? Why are you so sure? Convinced that Chad is trouble. No. Well, Look what he's gotten Whitney and Simone involved in. A hit-and-run investigation. Babe, hey, that wasn't his fault. And they deliberately disobeyed me when I told them to stay away from him. And worst of all, they went to some strange man's house, a man they don't even know. All right, all right, I'll give you that. They shouldn't have done it. And all because of Chad. Well, I want them to stay away from him. He's trouble. All right, honey. We'll talk to the girls tomorrow about Chad. I don't want them around him, T.C. You know, sweetheart, he's really not a bad guy. I want you to stand behind me on this one, TC. No contact with Chad. None. Okay, we'll talk. By the way, honey, I saw your car. What happened to it? What? When I was in the parking lot, I noticed that your headlight was busted. What happened? Oh, uh, I hit a bump in the road. Babe, are you okay? Oh, fine. Well, okay, I'll just drop it by the shop tomorrow. No. Well, why not? Well, you're busy. I I'll do it. Okay. Love you. Okay, girls, I'm taking you home. It's late. We'll talk in the morning. Later. Where are you going? Orville's room. I'm gonna wait in there in case he wakes up. Chad. If he says anything about the accident or your past, I want to know about it. My past is nobody's business but mine. Not anymore. This is a police matter now because of the hit and run. My past ain't got nothing to do with that. Orville seemed to know about you. Said if you keep looking into your past, that you may die. <laughs> Man, he, that didn't mean nothing. It might, considering his own accident. Now, finding out about your past may be the key to solving this case. It also means finding out as much as we can about the old man, who he is and who and what he knows. Luis is off for a few days, so I'm going to take this case myself. Kind of feel sorry for Chad, knowing anything about his past. Yeah, I guess you could relate more. Would Grace not remember the first part of her own life? Yeah. You know, Sammy, sometimes the past is better left a mystery. Maybe. What do you think, Eve? I know what you're hiding. All of it. The secret you've kept from your husband, what you did years ago outside of town. 
You think I don't know? Well, I do. And I can prove it. I'll tell you that secret that you've kept hidden in your soul all these years. I'll tell you every horrible detail right now. Um, I don't know. I guess it depends on what's in your past. Sammy, my wife is perfect. Mwah. There's nothing her past to worry about. You're wrong, TC. There is something. And if it comes out, it will destroy all our futures. <laughs>